What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. And unfortunately, it's that time of the year here in New Jersey where daylight savings is here. And so now you look outside and it's completely pitch black and it's only 5.30. So it sucks, but it's a good thing we got this beautiful, beautiful lighting right here to uh, you know help us see this beautiful car. So anyway, uh, the goal for today is, as you can see, we have still a couple of things that gotta go on. Charge pipe, the intakes, throttle body, intercooler, um, injectors, spark plugs, the oil, which I can't use. I'll explain that in another video or maybe a little bit later. Um, this, don't worry about, that's brakes for my Camry. And then this, we're gonna make its own separate video because this is something I've seen on forums, but I haven't seen any videos on it. Um, this is your stock intake manifold. And this little plastic nipple needs to get shaved off and get fitted with a one fourth line for the blow off valve. Um, that's because this tile 50 millimeter blow off valve needs a bigger air line for here or it could cause like compressor surge and stuff like that in the turbos. So that's like a video I wanna do separately on its own. But we have to do that stuff. And then also I do still have to tidy up this electrical wiring here for the injector side. So the goal for today is going to be put the fuel injectors in, put the spark plugs in and the coil packs, plug this stuff all up here as well as you know plug up the water pump and the o2 sensors under the car and then all the wiring should pretty much be done that way all we need to do is throw on the intake manifold throw on the fan shroud the um, radiator and the intercooler and you know this car this car is really close to being started up uh, unfortunately you know we only post three days a week so i'll be enjoying this car probably for like a week or two before you guys even see the car start but you know that's the perks of being the YouTuber, I get to enjoy it and you guys have to patiently wait. So yeah, make sure you turn on post notifications and subscribe if you wanna see this car actually start up. Anyway, it's enough talk for now. Let's get to actual work. All right, so the first thing we're gonna start with is the injectors. So here is a, this is a OEM BMW injector. I got it from FCP Euro, cause it has a lifetime warranty. And as you can see, it's got the BMW logo stamped on it. Um, so pretty much, you see those numbers right there? 577 seven, and 206. You need to write down those numbers because once you install these, you have to code these into the car or else it will not run right. As you can see up top has 12, which means they're index 12s. So also what it comes with this is you need to buy these little couplers. These are very important and they highly recommend that you do not reuse them. So these go on and then you drop the injector in and this little cap right here comes off. Once you take this off, this little cap right here, you have literally like, I think it's five to 10 minutes before it will expand and then you won't be able to get the injector into the hole. So I'm gonna put you guys in a time lapse while I install these and make sure, like I said, you write down those numbers, 577 and 206. All the injectors are going to have different numbers on them, but uh, you have to write those down. Okay, so all the injectors and the fuel lines or the fuel rail lines and everything are on. Now next we are going to, you know, take out the old spark plugs that are in here, put the new spark plugs in and throw the coil packs on, bolt this piece down. And then this whole little like, you know, electrical unit up here is done. It's fairly simple as long as you label everything like we got here. So uh, let's get to that. All right, so just some more progress. We got the whole vacuum system buttoned up. Look at all this, you know, this gold and this red and the black, it's, it's really starting to get a little bit eye peeling. Um, like I said, we still have to do the intake manifold and then, you know, pretty much just throw on the air filters. And uh, once, once this side is buttoned up here and we put the coil pack and the spark plugs in, we're pretty much like set with the engine wise. And then we just, like I said, have to put on the intercooler 
and the radiator. We're gonna end the video at that. Um, we did get some good amount of stuff done within the past two days. Um, now it's gonna be time to do the manifold. So we're gonna have a whole separate video on that. So definitely check back for that if you know you have a tile blow off valve or a blow off valve in general. It's definitely important to do what we're gonna show in the next video, which is tap the manifold with a one fourth vacuum line. So anyway, that's gonna be all. Always remember, work hard, stay humble.